Hi, I'm Aaron Marcus, and here is your weekly acting and modeling blog letter. Um, down in Florida right now in my hotel room getting ready to do some workshops, and but I wanted to get this information to you uh, as soon as possible. I want to talk to you today about uh, the one mistake that a lot of people make when they are doing their auditions online. And depending on the market that you're in, there are a lot of people who are doing online auditions. I've probably did about three of them uh, this week. Uh, in certain areas, y you pretty much have to always be there. Sometimes uh, in certain markets, they will allow you to do the initial audition online. Sometimes you have to still attend a, a callback live. But um, there are some real do's and don'ts when you are doing your online audition. And so, for instance, for if this were an online audition, this would be a major don't. Um, you know, you don't want, um, you know, fire smoke alarm uh, coming out of the top of your head. You don't want to see television sets uh, in the other room. Um, I had spun things around, uh, and there was this beautiful view of uh, the ocean and boats and, and uh, beaches. Um, that wouldn't be very good either, because the key thing is, you want things very plain in the background. Uh, you want people to focus on you. So that is one of the key things. I'll tell you one other thing, and here's a big mistake that a lot of people make when they're doing their online auditions. They read for the camera, and they look right into the lens, just like I'm doing right now. And whenever, unless, the only exception to the rule is if you are auditioning for a, uh, a news anchor, uh, you're a reporter, and you're reading directly into the camera. Except for those few exceptions, everything is going to be done slightly off camera. So, like for instance, um, if, I if I were to be doing lines and I'm reading with a reader, I would be reading over here. And this is where I would be talking to somebody. And that will allow me to still be seen very clearly, but I'm not mugging the camera. Because, and once again, there are a few exceptions with some TV shows where, uh, you know, all of a sudden the character will turn and talk to the camera. But once again, that, that's rare. Uh, you know, for films and, and almost every TV show that you see, you're talking to another actor, and you're not looking directly into the lens of the camera. So this is how you want to do it. So what you need to do is, and you'll practice this, find a spot away from the camera. You don't want to be too far over, because then you're just getting a profile of your face, which it doesn't work at all either. So it's this fine line. You don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. And find a nice little area where your face is still seen very clearly. And along with you know, not looking into the lens of the camera, you also want to make sure that you are heard very well. Um, I purchased a very, actually it's pretty inexpensive, it's called a lavalier mic, and I just attach it here uh, with the computer that I'm using right now, the microphone that's built in is really good, and so uh, I really don't even need that. Um, I just talk directly into the camera. Um, well, as you know, and not, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean the camera, but I meant the, um, the microphone for the camera. So anyhow, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, it will really transform your auditions. And, and, and I'll tell you, you know, um, some other things about auditioning uh, at home as well um, in some, some future um, acting and modeling blog letters. Because, like I said, you know, it's, it's being done more and more often. And uh, I just booked a feature film because of that, you know, through doing the initial audition at home. If you have any questions at all, always feel free to email me uh, at Aaron at HowToModel.com or go to my Facebook.com forward slash HowToModel page and um, let me know. Let me know what you think. You can also leave a comment on my website, HowToModel.com. Anyhow, I'm Aaron Marcus. I look forward to talking with you again soon. See you.